How's it going, guys? I'm Alentarian, and welcome to the Revenge of Shinobi. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the good ending without using any power-ups whatsoever. Which, yes, you can do, but it's a bit of a goddamn juggling act. And just to show you guys, I'm not kidding, I'm going to let the final boss kill me before I do it, especially since I'm at a shurikens right now. Because <laughs> you literally cannot do this without shurikens. Alright, while he's waiting to come up through the floor, I'll show you guys how to, this is possible. Alright, you see on this far wall the chain right above Joe Musashi's head, and how there's that black square? There's one also on the opposite right wall. Okay, those chains are what lower the giant stone slab that crushes Joe Musashi's girlfriend in the cage. The way you can slow down the chains is by throwing shurikens into them, and then that slows up the chains for about three seconds-ish, which buys you extra time. That's how. That's exactly how this is possible without power-ups. It's just a juggling act, because you have to alternate between hitting this motherfucker with a bad weave, and then throwing shurikens into the frickin' walls. There we go. Yeah, keep laughing, fucker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. Alright, first things first, I'm throwing them into them preemptively, because whenever you go to use your jutsus, the chains keep moving, which sucks. Alright, wakey wakey, fuckhead. Don't hit me with your weak son of a bitch. <laughs> nice girlfriend, a better cosplay wigs than you! There we go. Come on. Throw, throw, come here. Fuck you, dodge the weave. Throw, throw. Fuck you, dodge the weave. <laughs> nice easy four step process. <laughs> Uh, I hate when he throws it slow, because that means the next one's going to be really quick. Amazed I dodged that. Alright, come on. Nice and easy. Miss me with that bullshit. Come here. Yeah, notice how the stone's still at the top, even though I'm this far into the fight already. God damn it. Alright, come on. Son of a bitch, you better die in the next head. Come on. Die already. Yes! There we go. And see, without any power-ups whatsoever, I'm almost dead, but I still pulled it off. <laughs> and now time to free homegirl. So this way we can see the good and canon ending. And yes, this is the canon ending, because, um, how many of you ever played Shadow Dancer? Alright, after the events of this, these two get married, and the main character from Shadow Dancer is their son. <laughs> Fun little lore tidbit. Yep, now they both get to watch the sunset. <laughs> Instead of him having to see her ghost in the stars. God, that's creepy. <laughs> From the bad ending. Damn, I love this music. But yeah, guys. This is how you get the good ending in Revenge of Shinobi without using any power-ups whatsoever. It's a juggling act, but as I showed, it's doable. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'm the Lentarian, and I am out of here. Mwah. Peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.